Spoon. The wagon and the fly. You need to make a journey to the underworld. So, we take hands through the Iliad to Book 3, line 310, where the Trojan princes swear an oath on a pair of lambs newly slaughtered by the lord of Man Agamemnon, who then lays the slain lambs down in the bottom of the wagon, called the wagon's bed. Even there, the laying of the lambs into the dusty belly of the floorboards. Then, like a goat, the cart goes. The rock jumping, awkward, graceful wagon rolls along. The self-same cart will come again for Hector's body at Book 14, lines 589 to 590. Homer drives this wagon back and forth across the Iliad. The cart is laden with the language of arrival and departure. The god-guarded dead body of Hector the Huge is not bleeding on those arnophoric parallel pine panels. Then the field's tones separate. The grass dissolves into diminishing parallel bands, equidistant but receding as they shrink from one another. And the world expands. Your wings buzz about you, thrilling.